It is a wicked Wednesday, folks. Happy hump day to you. Hey, I'm your host, Matt Morgan, and you're listening to Soapbox Daily, episode 156. Thanks very much for tuning in today, and uh, glad to have you here. How's your week been so far? As always, how's your integrity been today? How's your integrity been this week? Are you being the positive change? Are you doing the right thing when no one else is watching? That's all we can say. Onwards and upwards. Let's evolve. Let's be the best we can be to make this world a better place. Always keep your integrity in check. So today, hey, you know what? For episode 156 of Soapbox Daily, we are going to discuss the power of music. Yes, the power of music. Music, a wonderful thing. And I don't understand those people that don't have music in their lives, that don't listen to music on a regular basis, because music can do wonders. It is a magic thing, believe it or not, if you want to believe in a sense of magic. But it just... it. Oh, I tell you, experts have been trying to understand how our brains can hear and play music. I mean, a stereo system puts out vibrations that travel through the air and somehow get inside the ear canal. These vibrations tickle the eardrum and are transmitted into an electrical signal that travels through the auditory nerve to the brain stem, where it is reassembled into something that we perceive as music. I mean, research have been studying this forever, but it's amazing is, I mean, music is, you know, structural, it's mathematical, it's architectural, I mean, it's it's based on re- relationships between one note and the next. I mean, you may, you may not be aware of it, but your brain has to do a lot of computing to make sense of it all. Believe it or not, it has to do a lot of computing. But music can do so much from influencing moods to changing the way we think. I mean, music has the ability to bring us joy and comfort, to motivate us and to help us relax. It has the power to transport us to moments of where we've been, to calm our worried minds or to boost our moods. I mean, there's really a song for every emotion. There really is. Science has even backed these ben- the benefits of music. Research findings have demonstrated that music supports our physical, mental, and emotional health. It can help us in regulating our emotions, improving our moods, and enhancing productivity and concentration. It can even help us sleep better. Believe it or not, it's amazing the power of music. Here, I'm going to give you some six ways that music can enhance your being, especially if you don't have enough music in your life. If you maybe listen to the radio or a song once in a while, you should probably listen to music more often because there's so much music out there, so many moods, so many variations, so much variety. You you know, you should get more music into your life, whether it's classical to pop to rock, you name it, country's even good as well. All depends on where you're at. So here's some six ways that, you know, music can enhance your well-being. Number one, obviously, boost your mood. Research has proven the link between music and our mood. Listening to your favorite song can cause a release of dopamine into the brain that can help in preventing depression. Try making a playlist of all your favorite songs that you can listen to the next time you're feeling down. Try to choose songs that are upbeat, and if you can sing along and dance to them, even better. As singing and dancing encourages releases endorphins or even the happy hormones, it's it's important to have that. And set a playlist for different moods. Number two, enhance attention and focus. Music has also been shown to focus and improve focus and attention and boost mental performance when studying or when working on a task. So if you find yourself zoning in and out of work or study, try listening to something that's stimulating, a track to power your attention. Steer clear of any music with lots of lyrics and distracting beats. Instead, opt for some classical music. Classical music is incredible at being able, it's been found, classical music has been found to balance and stable and calm your mind and improve learning efficiency. That's why we encourage classical music to be played to newborns or babies, even when they're in the womb. Number three, recall fond memories. I mean, music has the ability to transport us back into time, as I mentioned earlier. Music has the ability to transport us to the past and allow us to recall fond memories. This is because listening to the same music repetitively creates an association in our brain with the emotions experienced while listening to that music. So even when we replay music from years ago, we can immediately reconnect with the emotions and feelings that were being experienced at that time. It's really useful if you want to relive a good memory. Try to think of music, play music from that time and, you know, go have a little transport back to those days. Another point is number four being promote relaxation and restful sleep. Playing some calming music may be just what you need when you're you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed and perhaps unable to get a restful sleep. Research indicates that listening to peaceful music can help with relaxation by slowing your breathing and heart rate as well as inducing, or sorry, as well as reducing blood pressure and reducing the stress hormones, including 
adrenaline and cortisol, I believe it's pronounced, cortisol. This makes it easier to unwind and let go of some of your worries, which may in turn help you fall asleep quicker and stay asleep longer. Number five, boost motivation and energy. Most people will find that exercise is much easier when listening to music. This is because fast paced, upbeat music increases your heart rate and gives you a burst of energy, fueling motivation and maximizing performance. So if you're needing a little bit of boost before your next workout, try putting together a soundtrack of your favorite energizing tracks. I recommend, okay, by Marky Mark in the Funky Bunch, Good Vibrations. You want to have something that's going to get you pumped? That's what I recommend. Number six, cultivate connection. Music is universal. It brings people together from all walks of life. It does really matter. Sorry, it doesn't really matter what language you speak or where you're from. Music is a language that all of us can understand. It brings people together at concerts, at places of worship and celebration. Research has even found that listening to music can trigger the release of oxycodone, the love hormone that helps us in developing empathy, trust, and compassion for others. I believe I pronounced it right. Oxytocin, I think that's how it is. <laughs> so if you're feeling lonely, try listening to some music to create a sense of belonging and connection. Exchange ideas with your friends, family, whatever. Get an idea of what they listen to as far as music goes. What, what's their, their playlist? What's the music they recommend? What genre of music? You can get some ideas and introduce yourself to new forms of music because it might just help you in different portions of your life. Hopefully these points that I brought up today can actually give you some guidance as to the influence of what music can bring to your life fulfillment and mood and just overall balance I, it's just incredible i had a song in my head today waking up that was just rattling around and you know what i decided to play it and it just started my day off the right foot maybe there's some music out there that could do that for you depending on where you're, where you're at what you're doing find that music that connects with you and and, and helps you out get through certain certain points in your life. So that was our topic for today, and I thank you very much for tuning in. I'm your host, Matt Morgan. I'm going to wrap this up for today. Happy Hump Day. I hope you have an amazing Wednesday moving forward, onwards and upwards, and um, if you're kicking around someday, someday or sometime today, and you got some tunes on and everything else, you want to check out something uh, that we're working on, please check out themadmorgan.com. Yes, themadmorgan.com. Some people have been missing it and just putting madmorgan.com. No, no, no. We are the Mad Oregon.com. Please check it out. That's our central hub for all information on our podcast or project now and in the future. Have yourself an amazing day. Keep your integrity in check and I will see you next episode.